The Department of Civil Engineering was founded in 1926, and the Department of Construction Management was founded later in 2000. Both of them are part of the School of Civil Engineering, Tsinghua University. During the past 95 years, the school has developed distinctive and strong disciplinary directions in multiple subject areas. Enjoying a great international reputation for its academic accomplishments, inspired by the university's motto, self-discipline and social commitment, everyone at the school is always committed to fulfilling their responsibility and obligation to the society with concrete efforts. At the beginning of 2020, when the COVID-19 pandemic struck. Wuhan was in need of urgent help. The Huashenshan and Leishenshan hospital projects were launched as an urgent priority. This was a racing between life and time. To analyze the impacts of exhaust air from COVID-19 temporary hospitals, the Construction Institute do need advanced simulation technologies like computational fluid dynamics. Fortunately. We have implemented a few research works related to CFD simulations. Hence, we thought we could do something which might facilitate the construction of temporary hospitals. After dozens of hours, we proposed a high-efficiency simulation method to analyze the impact of the exhaust air from COVID-19 temporary hospitals. For me, it is felt very honorable to write the paper on the motherland. With the support from Professor Lu Xinzheng's research group, the hospitals were completed in the shortest time possible. At this point, another team from Civil Engineering Department of Tsinghua received an urgent task from the State Council. On March 7th, the Xinjia Hotel in Quanzhou, Fujian Province, collapsed. The Department of Civil Engineering. And the Department of Construction Management immediately set up an expert team, with academician Nie Jianguo and Professor Shi Yongjiu joining the group. Dr. Zhao Zuozhou, who specializes in structural engineering and seismic resistance of buildings, were also appointed and rushed to the site, joining the accident investigation team. Why couldn't the building stand up? Why did it collapse? What we are doing is to restore the whole process of the building, from the earliest construction and the completion, as the addition of floors and other changes at the tunnel collapse. We quickly organized the investigation team, and by discussing and collect the necessary information for investigation, we think about the responsibility of Tsinghua University. Also think about the 29 fresh life. We have to find the truth behind the accident, and we also make sure the tragedy will not happen again. Buildings should be refuge, not a threat to life. We were duty bound to take up the challenge because we love our profession. We are from the Department of Civil Engineering, Tsinghua. A group of students are active in the poverty-stricken areas of rural China, using the professional knowledge they have acquired in the classroom to build pedestrian bridges for villagers. They are the endless bridge team of the Civil Engineering Department of Tsinghua University. It was very meaningful for us to build a bridge for the villagers with what we have learned in the class. During this project. We cooperate with、uh, Hong Kong students, so it contacts the friendship with us and the Hong Kong students. The Department of Civil Engineering and the Department of Construction Management of Tsinghua keep pace with the times by continuously seeking academic innovation and disciplinary development, improving teaching resources and enhancing its influence worldwide, and delivering excellent talents to the industry. They help young people realize their dreams and contribute to the prosperity and rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. Serving the people and serving the nation. 
is one of our feature of the Department of Civil Engineering. In the history, we cultivate lots of the talents who become the very prestigious people in the country and even in other parts of the world. During the pandemic of COVID-19, our professors and the graduate students never stop their efforts for teaching and research. We have opportunities to contribute to the two hospitals in Wuhan. We have a group of professors and the students involved in the investigation of a structural collapse of a hotel during the pandemic. Even during the pandemic, we never stop exchange with these professors and students. We invite them to join our workshop, teach our classes online. 2020 is a special year for the world as well as for China. The next year is special for us. We are having our 95 years old for the Department of Civil Engineering. We will work harder and make the department greater. We are always here, wherever we are needed. <laughs>